remove all the plastic stuff, the battery covers and the air box stuff. Just gonna see what's going on here. I'm gonna remove the air box and everything. to loosen the, the the 10 millimeter air duct I'm just gonna spray a little bit of the uh, penetrating oil because it's it's a bit seized just to make a uh, removal easier so the bolt uh, does not break Connect the mass airflow. There's a coolant hose here that's on the bracket. Just having a difficult time trying to disconnect this line here. There we go. Uh, that's out of the way this whole thing just uh, comes out today I'm just in the middle of doing a job so I just wanted to show on how to clean the throttle body on this 2006 Mazda 3 and this one is equipped with the 2.3 liter engine and this will be the same for the 2 liter engine uh, uh, as well so I'm just going to show you on how to clean the throttle body. It's uh, extremely dirty here. You may or may not see it very well on camera. So right now I'm using the CRC throttle body uh, cleaner. So we're just going to spray in there and then clean the throttle body. Just to clean all, uh, uh, all the carbon and stuff in there. You don't want to spray too much, but just enough to to clean the carbon out. Now you can use a toothbrush afterwards after you clean the uh, the large parts. Then you can use the toothbrush afterwards. There's a lot of carbon buildup inside. It's ex extremely dirty. You can see all the carbon build up in there. It's uh, extremely dirty. So we are going to spray some more. You don't want to use uh, the ones that come with the red straw here. You don't want to use the red straw because uh, uh, eons ago, when I I first worked on cars, I used the red straw and I got inside the intake, and the and, and so you don't want that to happen to you. So I just d don't use the uh, the straw uh, at all. I just use the spray can it, uh, uh, itself. So we're gonna clean it here. This one is extremely extremely dirty. So if you do spray a lot of the cleaner, it, it's it's going to, to to flood the engine. So you need to be careful. So you want to clean uh, absolutely everything 
here. There's a, a lot of uh, carbon buildup on this. There is usually or sometimes a relearn procedure that you need to do on some vehicles. Other vehicles, you can just drive it <laughs> as normal, and the computer will relearn the uh, uh, th uh, th throttle uh, 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 position by itself. So we are going to keep on spraying until it's clean. I'm still, I'm not happy with it yet. I want to make sure all the carbon is gone. It's uh, a lot cleaner now, but there's still still some dirt on the back of the uh, uh, throttle plate. This uh, throttle body is extremely bad because it's it's coked up uh, w w with all of the carbon in there. It's very hard to get absolutely uh, everything off because uh, not a single service has been done on this vehicle for a very long time. After I'm done <laughs> putting the air box and everything, uh, I'll bring you guys back uh, inside the vehicle. So once everything is all done, we're, we are going to put the air box uh, back. I placed the rag inside the, the, uh, the other part of the air box because I don't want anything to fall in there because if something falls in there, you have to take the whole thing apart in in order to to, to get the object uh, out of there. So I I cover I usually I cover these up with a rag. So we're gonna reinstall this. We have the new air filter that we are going to put in. So we are going to install a new air filter. Install the air box back. I'm going to install this back, and the PCV. And we are going to tighten down the clamps after. So we are going to install the, the air uh, a snorkel. So we're going to install the air snorkel. Install the battery cover. And then now we are going to start the vehicle. So we are going to start the engine. Uh, 
I did do the throttle body service on this, so it's probably going to stall. It might, it may not start right away. I may have to hit the accelerator to rev the engine up. So uh, uh, it may not start, and it may it may trip some code. So anyhow, I'm going I'm going to try to start it. There's a lot of smoke coming in the back here. There's a lot of smoke coming out from all of the uh, uh, cleaner, Look at all the carbon. So we're just going to let it idle for some time. that's it for today if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful please don't forget to give it a like and please consider subscribing to my channel if you're not already a subscriber and I'll see you guys next time take care and have a good night